right, all right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the elect, beginning with the 144,000, and also unto you women and children. Keep on adoring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is very near. For those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh meaning He exists or He is to be. Yahweh Shai is the name of His beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahweh Shai meaning He saves or He or He is the deliverer. Racha Kodash is Spirit Holy, pronounced in, in English as Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the Apelio Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. Baha Shem means in the name. And um, I'm your brother Bashar. Um, coming at y'all with a quick uh, video that I came across. Um, there was a, uh, uh, a movie. Not a movie clips like it. Uh, there was a, a event. There was a, uh, you know, there was a uh, just recently in Miami, Florida. There was a mall out in the Miami, Florida, where a lot of people were just were scared. Uh, were super scared, and they were uh, they, they all started running out of the mall. A bunch of police showed up, and you know, um, there was, you know, supposedly there was a uh, like. Like three, seven foot, eight foot um, men that were uh, that scared everyone, and you know to run outside of the mall. And um, you know, just recently, again, well, well, today, I came across this clip, this video clip, um, entitled uh, "Hikers Capture." Uh, footage of 10 foot tall aliens on a hilltop in Brazil. Now, the word alien just means traveler, and we know these these entities aren't aren't uh, aren't who the world uh, what the aren't what the world describes them to to, to, to be. Um, they're they're actually uh, they're not, you know. Uh, uh, green uh, creatures with uh, big black eyes and big gigantic heads um, with uh, you know um, that they, they look like demonic creatures okay they're, 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 that's not um, what these uh, that's not what the uh, what these creatures look like Okay, when you go into the scriptures and you go into, you know, Ezekiel, the first chapter, Lord willing, I can get into that breakdown and, you know, bring forth some edification on that whenever I get, whenever I get a chance, Lord willing, pretty soon. Um, when you go into that chapter, it describes the, 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 pic, the, the depiction of the angels of the Lord. Okay, now these these angels they navigate these uh these vehicles that the, you know that the world calls ufos okay um now these vehicles according to the scriptures are described as uh the chariots of the most high and the entities uh you know navigating these vehicles are the angels of the most high okay and you know, we have examples in the scriptures that um, that the Lord would send his angels before he would, you know, destroy a kingdom. OK. Um, and also during the time of the destruction of Babylon, the great, uh, you know, it's prophesied that he was going to bring forth his angels as, as, as well so this definitely isn't far-fetched you know when you're measuring the times um and, you know if you're measuring the times and you, you know what times we're, 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 we're living we're, we're, we're living in 
and you see what's going on, um, you start to come to, you know, the realization that this isn't far-fetched at all. Now, I'm not saying that this particular clip is real, but um, nonetheless, uh, we are living in those times, and I want to bring up, bring forth some edification. We are living in those times when the Lord is gonna bring forth, send you know, send forth his uh, his angels to uh, to take charge over his uh, men. Okay, as it is prophesied in the book of uh, uh, Psalms, chapter ninety one, at the ninety first chapter. All right. And um, so this is it's definitely not far fetched. Um, maybe this is just a sign that the Lord is gonna, you know, bring something upon this place. Uh, Lord knows, um, but it's definitely not something that you you should that we should be taking um, lightly, or we should let let it go over our our our, our heads. And um, you know, I'll bring out an example um, in, in the scriptures. To uh, to show that this is definitely not far fetched, okay. Um, when you go into the book of Genesis, uh, the 18th chapter, and we're gonna start at verse um, 11. I'm not gonna pull it up on the screen. You know, you can pull it up on your you could pull it up on your phone and read it yourself. But um, when you read down, you know, the Lord appeared to Abraham and Sarah. And, um, and, you know, that was, this was right around the time where, you know, he revealed, the, the Lord revealed to, he was revealing things to Abraham um, and his wife, you know, that there was going to bear a son, which I'm just going to go into it and, and read it. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 11. Now Abraham and Sarah were old. And well stricken in age, and it and it cease to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Slot you. Continue on verse twelve. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure. My old, my, 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 my Lord, it's like, yeah, uh, being old also, and the Lord said unto Abraham, wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, shall I of a sure, surety bear a child, which am old, is anything too hard for the Lord at the time appointed I will return unto thee now this is how we know that this is talking about you know Yahweh Shai because we you know for those of you who don't know Isaac is Yahweh Shai and um the Lord at that time you know he, he appeared to them as an angel and he was and he, Yahweh Shai was telling them that he was going to return as Isaac you know, um, you know, um, continuing on at the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. That son is Isaac. OK, let's continue. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not for she was afraid. And she and he said, nay. But thou didst laugh. Okay, so this is an example. This is a, a an example of why we have to uh, make sure we're constantly, you know, observing ourselves and constantly, um, you know, um, getting our minds right, preparing our minds for what's to come, because you know these. You know, these these angels, they have the ability to read your mind, you know, and, and last thing you want to do is, you know, offend a an, an angel of the Lord. You know, this is why, you, you know, scriptures talk about how, you know, you know, you want to clean your garment. 
because the garment is synonymous to your mind, okay, your spirit. And you want to make sure that is, is clean so when the Lord comes back, he sees... He sees the inward man um, acceptable to be delivered. He sees that 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 your mind, that you, your spirit is is cleansed from all of these these wicked, uh, unclean spirits that can cause you to go off. You know. Now again, we might we're not gonna you know take off all those, but we're not gonna uh, we, we, we 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 might not. All these unclean spirits might not all get off of us. All of them might not all get off of us. But the point is, you want to bring forth, you want to prepare your minds for the coming of the Lord to the best of your ability. Okay. The Lord knows when you're trying. The Lord knows when you're not. Um, that's just a, a quick side note. Continuing on, verse 16. And the men rose up from thence and looked towards Sodom. And Abraham went with them, okay, um, uh, to bring them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Uh, seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and shall, and all nations, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him um, verse 19 for I know whom that he will command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of the Lord to just to do justice and judgment and the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he have spoken of whom okay uh, verse 20 and the Lord said because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great and because their sins is very grievous I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it which is come unto me and if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from thence and went towards Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Okay, so the Lord came down with his angels um, to destroy you know, not only to send a message to, you know, Sarah and and Abraham, but he came to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, um, and we live, we are living in, the, in that time of destruction, as the scriptures uh, says. Let's get that real quick. Okay, so this is a uh, Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one. To every to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven a time to be born a time to die a time to plant a, and a time to pluck up that which is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up, okay, a time to cast, it's like a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to render, a time to shoot, a time to 
keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Right. So the Lord is about to, uh, you know, bring forth destruction. You know, the Lord Lord's going to bring, you know, you know, bring war upon this place, you know, and um, he's going to, you know, as you know, that we are in a time of war. We're living in a time of war. Uh, you know, pursuant to Matthew the 24th chapter, you know, there will be wars and rumors of wars. Um, and we see these things, um, they have been unfolding and the, during the times that we have been living in. Um, but the Lord is going to come back pursuant to the Joel, the book of Joel, because we know there's a war brewing up over there in the Middle East. Um, you know, there's a war going on over there in the Middle East. Um and we know that the Lord is going to visit those nations that's gathering themselves over there in the east, pursuant to Joel, the third chapter, to judge the nations. You know, let's get that real quick. And um, this is, we know that that time that the Lord is appointed to come back, he's going to come back to destroy. Okay, let's get this in the book of Joel. Third chapter. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3. We're going to fast forward to verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords. All right. What happens when you beat your plowshares into, into swords? They're preparing for war. Okay. These, these nations have been prepared for war for quite some time. Let's continue. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Um, slide get kind of lost. Uh, your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen. And gather yourselves together round about thither, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be awakened and come up the valley, uh, come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Right. So the Lord is just, you know, He's waiting, and we are living in those times where that war. That Joel, the third chapter, is talking about is happening as we speak. So, you know, the Lord is appointed to come back to, you know, with his, you know, with that de destruction. Okay, so it's not far-fetched that the Lord is, is has sent forth his angels are you know, are, 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 are already. Now, we know that the, he sent forth the Rakh HaKodesh, which are the, the angels, okay, to minister to those that be, to, 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 to those that be uh, hearers of salvation pursuant to Hebrews, the, um, the first chapter, okay, Let's get that real quick. You know, um, I'm, we're not going to get You can read it yourself. Or, you know, fast forward down to the 14th, 14th verse. And you'll, you know, but we're living in a time where the Lord is giving his charge. Is, is going to give, is going to give his angels charge over his men. Why? Because we're coming into a great, we're coming to the time of Jacob's trouble, a, a dark time. And, you know, the angels, um, the men of the Lord, they're going to need help from the angels. You know, this is why the scripture says in Psalms, I'm just going to get it because I've been quoting it. Just bear with me a second, Baba Shah.
Psalms chapter 91. And we're going to fast forward down to verse 10. Slaki, verse 9. Because thou has made Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which is my refuge, even Slaki, because thou has made Yahweh Shai, which is my refuge, even the Most High, Yahweh, thy ha habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you know, uh, the, the, you know, the Lord is, is, is it's not far fetched that this is that these are actually uh, angels of the Lord. You know, we, we know that they, the Lord uh, uses them to, to do his uh, bidding, to bring forth his bidding. And, um, you know, whether it be, you know, bringing forth, you know, judgment, you know, deleting somebody or protecting uh, members of the elect, you know, um, or just going out to sending them forth to to record and 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 jot down and 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 and, and exactly what particular men are are doing, you know, um, whatever whatever it is, the Lord sends forth His angels so they so that they can uh, do His bidding. And um, we are coming into the time where the Lord is going to turn up the volume of judgment. And, um, you know, he's going to put it on this devil's spirit to, uh, to, you know, bring forth martial law. You know, let's get this real quick. Isaiah chapter 59. Let's get this real quick. Isaiah chapter 59. Verse 33, because we are entering into some dangerous times. Um, Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19 it reads um, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh from the west in his glory from the rising of the of the sun Salakia, when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him you know and you know that that standard can come in the form of spiritual power that standard can come in the form of you know, the Lord sending forth his his angels, you know, to for example break break brothers out of prison, you know, to to uh to, to help brothers um in a sticky situation. You know, um but nonetheless this is not far fetched, it just shows us the times that we're living in. Um and the Lord will it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Lord will send forth his his angels to actually uh, 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 communicate with brothers and, and you know you know help them in, in 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 particular situations that that they may need help in you know um, this is definitely not far fetched um, Lord willing you brothers and sisters was edified I know I kind of went on a rant um, I was just real eager to get this video done i know you know we're not really supposed to be uh bringing for fortification uh you know rapid fire like that but uh you know the spirit was just on me heavy so i just wanted to get it out there before you know the fire just 
kind of went out, you know. Um, so Lord willing, you brothers and sisters, and sisters was edified. And again, these 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 events aren't far fetched, whether they be real or not. Um, but just just know that the Lord will help you, brothers and sisters, that are have been sincere and and, and enduring in this thing. And really, there's nothing to fear, you know, because the Lord. You know, he, he, he will lift up a standard. And, yeah, we know brothers have been harping on, um, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble a lot, which, you know, Elder Pastahar, he coined this year the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And, um, you know, brothers, you know, we, 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 we hope it is the year, you know. Um, and so far events that are that the you know the lord the signs that the lord has been showing is is, is it, it, it's still looking like it you know it, you know it it, it 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 seems like the lord lord really put it on the spirit um it seems like elder power tower is on point you know um lord willing it is this is the, the year that these doubles stop playing around and 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 really get this thing going um, but there's nothing to fear. Just know that, you know, if you've been enduring, if you've been doing what, what, what's been required, don't fear. Just know that, you know, the Lord got you and you, you know, we, we, we not only hope in that, but we're confident, you know, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was edified. Um, I give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Wadash. The honors to our apostles of Great Millstone and uh, peace and salutations to, to the elect, meaning which begins with 144,000, and also unto you women and children. Keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. If you have any questions, um, any comments, put them in the, in the, in the comment section. Lord willing, uh, you will be edified. Till next time, Shalom.